Are you feeling overwhelmed right now? And you feel incredible amount of stress as a result of everything that's happening in your life? And things seem a little chaotic. It seems out of control sometimes. If so, if this resonates, I want you to pay close attention to today's video because I'm going to share with you five powerful methods that you can use to overcome this for good. I want you to realize that human beings, we don't see the world as, as it actually is. We see it as we are. For example, if you had to take Richard Branson, with over 400 plus companies he's involved with. If you were to put Richard in your shoes, you'll probably think like he's on freaking holiday, right? Why? Because he's mastered the internal world. That's dictating his outer world. We've got a filter and a lens that we see life. This is how we, deep we're going to go today. And that's why I want to pay close attention, especially to the final points, because this is going to help you to get the breakthrough you need to be able to cope with this overwhelm. As after all, this is going to dictate your success. And I want to give a quick shout out to an insider who submitted this question over to us on Facebook. Hendrik Burma wrote this over on Facebook. He said, how to stay calm in a situation where you have focus on multiple things at the same time. Thank you for your videos. They help a lot. Hendrik, firstly, just want to say thank you for your kind words. I really appreciate it. And uh, today's video is going to help you a lot to be able to focus as well as to get rid of all of that stress and overwhelm you may be feeling. Now, inside, if you also like to submit your question, all you have to do is follow the link above or go directly to the link here and you'll have a chance to be featured on our show as well. So there are five methods to being able to overcome overwhelm. I want you to remember to lock in this knowledge by posting in the comments box below the biggest insights and takeaways that you want to remember later on. The first thing I want you to realize is an event is an event. Like I was saying earlier, we don't see the world as it actually is. We've got a lens in which we see the world. Just like how if you were to visit a new country as a tourist for the first time, you pay close attention to different things that a local would not. You've got the tourist lens. An entrepreneur or somebody who's a high achiever, who's got experience with managing multiple companies like Richard Branson, if he was to be put into your shoes, he would not feel overwhelmed. Why? Because he sees the world with a different lens. So instead of wondering and you know, waiting for life to get better, you've got to get better now. And these are the points that's going to help you to get better. So I want you to realize that there is no such thing as an overwhelming situation or high pressure situation. It's a label that your psychology is giving to these situations. And if it's not serving you right now, you got to change. And I'm not saying this right now to attack you, but this is a reality check. Just like how with my personal coaching clients, I wouldn't let them get away with attaching labels that's no longer serving them. Human beings, we have a pattern. Unless you break the pattern, this pattern will forever run in your life. And if you want to be more successful, it's very much likelihood that you're going to be involved with more projects. So you've got to learn how to manage this now because life is going to get a little bit complex if you do try to achieve more in your life. So this is the importance of mastering the internal world. Is that making sense? So realize an event is simply an event. We attach meanings and association to events, and that's what dictates the actual outcome. As a great saying goes, two men sat behind bars. One saw stars, the other saw mud. Remember this. Energy flows where the tension goes. So you always got to ask yourself, what am I focusing on? That's the key. Let's go on to the second point, which is... The power of reframing. There's a great quote that goes on the lines of how there is no such thing as bad weather, only the wrong clothing. Think about that. There's no such thing as bad weather, only the wrong clothing. You see, your mind is amazing at being focused on the negative. And it's great at asking itself negative-oriented questions, such as, why do I feel so stressed? Why do I feel so overwhelmed? Why am I so shy? Ask yourself, what's the question you're asking yourself when you feel overwhelmed? It's very likely it's not very positive. And as a result, your subconscious mind is going through the filing cupboards in your subconscious and is pulling out the paper to verify that that's how you feel. So if you ask yourself right now, why do I feel so overwhelmed? Your mind will find a way of answering that. So you've got to get great at reframing this. If you want me to go deeper in one of the upcoming videos, do let me know by uh, posting in the comments box below in regards to reframing. You've got to become a master in being able to reframe the thoughts and be able to focus your subconscious on the things that matter, that drive you to more success. 
This is advanced success psychology stuff, okay? So that's the importance of reframing. One of the quick reframings you can do is instead of seeing your problems as problems, see it as gifts. See it as a gift. Look at a, a child wakes, who wakes up on a Christmas day with the biggest grin on their face. Watch them unwrap all of the presents. So much happy, energetic state all around. Don't see it as a, as a problem. Otherwise, it will remain as a problem. Get rid of that meaning you've given to it. See it as a gift. See challenges as a gift. See adversity as a gift. Realize it's shaping you into the person you're born to become in order for you to live the life you're born to live. Because after all, it's pressure that creates diamonds. So ask yourself, what are you really making life mean to you? What, what attachments have you given to problems in your life? Reframe this. That's the second point. The third point is the one big D. I'm not sure what you're thinking of, but I'm thinking of Domino, okay? There's a, there's a great book called The One Thing. It's a great book that talks about the one big domino. And you may have heard of the principle 80-20. And this is pretty much the same concept as of one big domino. What you realize is the things on your to-do list, there is a specific task. If you were to do it, that's the thing that brings you the most amount of results. Same in regards to your life. Out of all of the things you've got as part of your morning routine, which you should have inside, if, you've not, if you don't have a morning routine, by the way, I highly suggest you watch videos here on Success Insider to do a morning rituals because that is the foundation, the base you need to be able to be a high achiever in your life and handle all of the stress and adversities, okay? So you need morning and evening rituals. And if you look at even the evening and morning stuff that you do in regards to routines, there will be one thing that's bringing you the most amount of results. Look at it in regards to your health. There will always be the one thing that's bringing you the most amount of health and the energy. There's always the one thing in everything you ever do in your life. So ask yourself, if you're running a business right now, what is the one thing that you can do? If you were to do it, it will make everything else easier or unnecessary. Spend literally one hour, a couple hours just figuring this stuff out because this is what makes you productive. Most people out there, they're so busy ticking off to-do lists that they never actually get meaningful work done. Ask yourself, what is the 80-20 of what I'm doing right now? What is the one big domino? Because when you figure out what the one big domino is, every little domino collapses alongside that. Get clear in regards to where your time is going. And what is bringing you actually the most results right now? You realize with your clients, there is like one client, specific target market, that brings you most of the outcome. Okay, that's the 80-20 principle. 20% 20 of your clients will bring you 80% of the revenue. You'll see how in your to-do list, 20% of the task, or, what, or I should say the one big task, one big domino, will bring you most of the results. So you want to make sure you dedicate, especially the morning, towards working towards the one big thing. And don't work on anything else unless you've covered and you've tackled and knocked over the one big domino. And you realize after you've done that, everything else becomes easier. So I want you to write down your biggest takeaways in the comments box below. And that way you're gonna remember all of the insights you're being shared right now. So figure out your one big domino. What is the one thing that I can do in my business? Prior to doing it, it will make everything else easier or unnecessary. Get clear in regards to that. Now, number four is your control. Control. As I said to you earlier, in regards to the event is an event. Yes, you can't control the stuff that happens on the outside in regards to the outer world. But we got the control in regards to what happens in our inner world, in regards to how we react to it. And one of the things we do have control of is our focus. Just like if I say to you right now, I want you to focus on your big right toe, <laughs> okay? Now you're focusing on big right toe. Oh, I want to focus right now on how you're sat. And you realize how you wasn't conscious of how you were sat or maybe your big right toe. But only now you're conscious of it and you're becoming conscious of how you're sat and maybe you're moving around as a result. It's because your mind, I want to realize, is processing so many thoughts per second. And it constantly deletes and distorts information that it believes that it's not necessary in this moment of time or it is necessary. So this is why we've got to make sure we're always focusing on what matters. One of the things you always want to uh, focus on is the things that's within your control. 
In fact, get a piece of paper out and write down everything that is on your mind right now. This is a great routine, by the way. And then after you've done that, it should be a huge list, maybe even 50 thoughts or whatever you're going through right now or whatever is really crammed in there and that's causing you stress. Write it all down and put a star next to everything that's outside your control and then put a tick next to everything that's within your control that you can make a direct influence and impact over and get done. And then from that list that you've got, then you want to focus on the one thing. Ask yourself, if I could only do one thing today, what would that be? And then you want to pick, after you've done the one thing, maximum two more things. So in total, it'll be three things from that list that you created in regards to the things that's within your control. But the one thing is the most important. So it's important you're constantly directing your focus to things that's within your control. Because if you put your control on the things that's outside your control, you'll realize you feel overwhelmed even more so. And you become a victim of reality because you feel like you can't control reality. And you can't, right? You can only think control what's happening within your world, but you cannot control what's happening out there. Does that make sense? So this is the importance of focusing all of your effort on the things that's within your control on a day-to-day -day basis. This is a habit that you've got to build up. But once you build it up inside there, I can assure you that it transforms how productive you are on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, final one, this is very important and you'll feel an immediate difference if you were to do this, is state management, okay? You see, overwhelm is simply a state, is a state of being. If you feel shy, that's a state. If you feel confident, that's a state. State management is about understanding how do we interrupt this pattern and then be able to get into an empowered state so we can get stuff done? Because it's very likely that you're productive when you're in the best mood and the best energy levels, right? So you've got to understand how to manage the energy levels throughout the day. Not so much focusing on time management, but more so on energy management. You focus on energy management, you realize your time management shoots up the roof, okay? That's something I share with my private clients. Then they get breakthrough results as a result of this. So f ask yourself right now, firstly, what is your physiology looking like? Because when you're overwhelmed, your physiology reflects how you feel. Just like when somebody's really sad and down, you'll notice how they're you know, scrunched almost into a ball. It's not like they got a big grin on their face. So instantly, you can change your physiology. Sit up straight. Put a big grin on your face. In fact, try doing this right now. Try thinking of a negative thought and have a negative physiology. OK, do it right now with me. Go on. And then try doing the same thing, negative thoughts, but basically shoulders back and then look up and put a grin on, big grin on your face and try to think of that same negative thought. And you'll notice if you've done this, okay, make sure you actively engage. If you've done this, you'll find it's very hard to think of that same negative thought. This is how you manage your state. So physiology is one of the ways you can do it. You can also do it by mastering the meaning that you're giving life as well as the focus. Another thing you can try that's an immediate change in regards to this after you've done the physiology change is to change the breathing pattern because your breathing rate is also the same when you're overwhelmed. And often people are almost holding their breath. Become conscious of this next time you're dealt with bad news. I want to continue to breathe deeply, okay? That's very important because your breath, you'll notice, reflects how you're feeling in the moment. So. You want to try out this. It's called purposeful breathing. So what you do is you raise your hands like this. And as you do so, you take a deep breath in through your nose like this. And then deep breath out. And as you do so, you push out. And it's out through your mouth. So it's like this. It's full lung breath out and full lung breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Does that make sense? Do 30 of those with your eyes closed. And I can assure you, you will feel difference in regards to how you feel about this event. These are the five powerful methods that you can use to overcome overwhelm. I hope you found today's video helpful inside it. If you have, by the way, be sure to comment in the chat box below and let me know in regards to your biggest takeaways. And like this video if you like this video. And inside it, I believe in the power of paying it forwards. And you know, with one act of kindness, this is what will transform the world. So do me a favor, share this with somebody that you know would benefit them right now. Share this video with them because maybe it's the very thing that will uplift their day. So thank you so much for watching Insider. And if you also like to submit your question, like I said, follow the link above or go directly to the link here. And I just want to say, whatever you're going through right now in regards to stress or overwhelm, realize Insider, the moment you understand how to master your inner world, all of this will change. Because my background, I used to be terrible with managing this stuff. 
I used to suffer from a lot of social anxiety, low self-esteem, but I've transformed myself from mastering personal development. So keep going strong, my friend, and check out more videos from Success Insider. And as always, follow your heart and take action and go live the life you're truly born to live. I'll see you on the next video soon. Take care.